So Soundtrap is an online music maker, which I've spent quite a lot of time using over the past couple of months. It is by far my favorite online music maker, mainly just because it works so well, especially compared to some of the top end music making software. It even has some great features like the ability to collaborate with some users, on the same project at the same time. I actually tried to record a video using this feature a couple months back with a couple of my subscribers, but things didn't exactly work out as planned. It was kind of a disaster. So anyway, let's go ahead and fire up Soundtrap and let's make some music. Woo! So I kind of want to kick things off with a piano. So I'm just going to add a new track, piano and keyboards. Maybe grandma's piano. That sounds all right. So I might just put a lot of reverb on. And now I'm going to go ahead and record a melody line. I went a bit out of time, but that can easily be fixed. So I'm just going to go ahead and quantize these notes and then it's pretty much done. So next up, I might add in some chords. I might try out a guitar for this sound. That one's quite nice. Oh, I like this one more though, so I'm going to go with this. So now I'm going to go ahead and record some chords. That sounds all right. Now I might also take that jazz guitar that I heard before. So we'll take this one here, this 80s pat. I quite like this sound, so I'm gonna go ahead and record the chords again, just to layer it up. So next up, I guess we better go ahead and add in a bass. Maybe we actually go for a realistic sounding bass. I think that'll suit the tone of this song. That one's alright, we'll go with that. It actually sounds a lot more real than I was expecting. Anyway, let's go ahead and record a bass line. Whoa, not there. So now I feel like I just need something to fill it out, so I'm gonna go ahead and add in a Rhodes. That sounds good, let's record. That was the wrong chord. <laughs> Let's try again. So now I might go ahead and layer up something else with the melody sound. This little vibraphone should work out pretty well. So let's go ahead and record that. I think it needs some reverb and then that's pretty much done. I actually really like the sound of this loop so far. I don't really know if there's anything else that I can add, but I'll try out some strings. That sounds super dramatic, but I think it works. It fits the mood of the song. So this little beat is actually coming along really quick. I think the only thing left to add in is just the drums. And I think I know exactly what style of drums I want to go with, so I'm just going to go ahead and get started on that. So I'm thinking about using one of these process drum sounds. I like this sound here, so I'm going to go with this one. So now it's just time to go ahead and record in the drums. I'm pretty happy with those drums, so now I'm just going to go ahead and add in some other layers of percussion. I like that little crash sound, so I'm going to go ahead and use these ones. It's time to record some crashes. So now I think I want to go ahead and add on one more layer. And this is going to be something a little bit different, so... So I'm just going to take one of these drum kits, this one here should do, and now I'm just going to go ahead and add on a whole lot of distortion. So now I just need to go ahead and EQ out all of the bass, and we should be good to go. There we go, that should be alright. Now I think I've pretty much recorded all of the elements that I need, so after making a structure and adding some finishing touches off camera, here is the finished beat. Enjoy!
actually really surprised with how quickly I made that beat. All up, it only took me around half an hour. Not bad, especially considering how happy I am with the results. So, that is pretty much everything for today. If you like the look of Soundtrap, I'll leave a link to it down in the description. And yeah, thanks for watching everybody. Bye!